Welcome to the Elgin County Railway Museum in St. Thomas, Ontario, the railway capital of Canada. In this video, we're going to be talking about our Canadian National Baggage Car. It was originally used for carrying luggage on trips with passengers. It would normally be stationed near the front of the train, just behind the engine, and sometimes be used by freight companies to ship smaller loads that didn't warrant a whole freight. It was also frequently used for mail delivery, and functioned as a post office as much of the sorting would be done in the car itself. This baggage car was retired and became its very own traveling museum, and eventually made its final stop here at the Elgin County Railway Museum. It currently houses a number of displays related to baggage cars, dining cars, and mail service, as well as a display honoring porters who attended to the needs of the passengers. The vast majority of porters were black, and they were often met with racism from both the passengers and the companies they were working for. The Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters was monumental in the fight for civil rights in Canada. We also have a display discussing the history of the London to Port Stanley line, which was the first line to come through St. Thomas. It was originally a freight line that would bring coal from the US, but eventually became a passenger line that made it so people in the city could get to the beach on hot summer days for only 15 cents. Featured in the back half of the baggage car is a display showcasing Canadian National Railway and Canadian Pacific Railway's advertisement efforts near the turn of the 20th century, which were instrumental in both promoting tourism in the western provinces of Canada, as well as promoting the efforts to move new immigrants and existing Canadian citizens into the prairies. Finally, our baggage car also houses our bellows, which were used to stoke coals in the blacksmith's forge, who would have worked in a building like our museum. These are one of the oldest artifacts in the museum and are so big that they would need two to four men to use. 